upon swallowing. This is not a part of the video. <laughs> hi guys and welcome to my channel so for this video i wanted to show you my skincare routine for the vast majority of you who do not know i am currently in school to become an esthetician so this is right up my alley definitely something that i like and enjoy so this particular routine i'm considering an express facial because some of the steps that i take are things that i wouldn't do on a day-to-day -day basis but on a need to need basis and my skin definitely needed a little bit more on this particular day so let's get started so first i'm going in with two cleansers the first one was the detox cleanser by pacifica and the other one was the acure cleanser and that one is a brightening cleanser um, i decided to mix the two of them just because my skin really needed the detox because i had just finished working out and it kind of looked really dull so i needed the brightness in it so right now i'm just scrubbing my face for at least 60 seconds and then i go in with my silicone scrubber i like to use that one just to give me that extra deep clean and i use a silicone one for many reasons one being that it's very easy to clean and it doesn't harbor bacteria like the bristle facial brushes do and it's better for the skin so the silicone kind of glides against the skin and opens up the pores versus the bristle brushes they can cut the skin underneath so i personally choose not to use those so i'm just doing a quick rinse with cool water and i like to use cool water just because i feel like it closes things up i use warm water to start with cool to rinse with and then i pat dry i have my lashes done in here so i'm being very careful to make sure that i don't mess up my lashes so next I'm going to exfoliate and this is one of the things that I was saying that kind of makes it like an express facial because I don't exfoliate every day um, definitely a few times a week like two to three times a week this exfoliant is a daily one by Dermalogica and it is amazing it literally has transformed my skin it's the best so it comes out in like little grains where it kind of looks like more of a physical exfoliant and then once you add water to it and start putting it on your face it starts to dissolve so i like that a lot because the whole time you're still washing your face but not gliding you know those little like hard sugar balls or silicone balls across your skin you're just washing it and so you'll see where i place the exfoliant like directly onto certain spots so i'll place it directly onto my chin or onto where i have discoloration and that's where i want the scrubby's focal point to be first so i'm going to give it a good rinse and usually with that i have to go through with the towel like i'm doing and have to wipe because some of the little scrubbies that didn't dissolve can sometimes still be stuck on the skin so next, I believe I am going to tone. So what I equate to the greatness of my skin is rose water. Rose water does not get the love that it deserves that I personally feel. I literally lather myself in rose water. It's great for the skin, it's great for hydration. I personally feel like toners should be more hydrating than stripping. And I personally like to use spray toners. So I love that one. I actually found it at Walmart and it only has two ingredients, which are filtered water and rose hemp oil, which is what you need. So since I also have my lash extensions done, I'm going through cleaning those. I'm just using the micellar water and um, just like a brush from e.l.f. And I'm just gliding underneath and over top. And then I left to go grab my blow dryer because you wanna make sure your lashes are dry. So I just blow dry on cool and then I take my mascara wand and I roll that through my lashes. And you want to make sure that you're um, twisting your mascara wand downward so that um, you can kind of get all of your wispies and brush them all out so that they can look good. So 
so next as i stated my skin was it was pretty dry i don't have dry skin i have very oily skin but it was dry and it looked a little irritated so i'm doing one of my favorite things which is just an aloe aloe vera gel mask and i'm gonna let that sit on for like 10 to 15 minutes aloe vera is great for the skin it's great for hydration it's great for dark marks it's great for um, dryness it gives you that glow and it's natural so I believe I got that from TJ Maxx you can find it on Amazon even Ulta those are great places to get it and I sprayed my brush a little bit with the rose water usually I mix the two like one of my acne serums has just the aloe vera and the rose water in it and a little bit of like tea tree oil and that's a great DIY for your skin um, I'm trying to pull back from a lot of products that have a lot of chemicals which chemicals aren't bad for your skin if you know how to use them properly but I just don't want a lot of my everyday items that I use to contain a lot of chemicals so I'm gonna let this sit on my skin for about 10 to 15 minutes and really soak in all the goodness you can even sleep in this if you'd like I just chose to just put it on really quick so you also saw me sleep uh, take a sip of water water is definitely your best friend when it comes to skincare I personally like my water with lemon it's refreshing it's something that I drink every day every morning I drink a hot um, mug of lemon water and it definitely helps wake the body up and get you going so I just rinsed off the mask and I'm just going through wiping it off it's kind of hard to tell on camera but my skin looks way better now just from the cleansing toning exfoliation and the mask So again, I'm going through with my lashes. I'm not used to having them. My friend is about to open up her salon again, so she wants to practice. Do you see how beautiful those look? Oh my gosh, in love. So I'm really making sure that I take care of them properly. So here we are back again with the toning. Um, I used the rose water first, and then I'm going in with just like a vitamin C facial spray, which definitely helps brighten up the skin. And I like to pat that in and kind of like push it around just to make sure it really, really soaks in. And because I have my, <laughs> because I have my lash extensions, I try to rub a little bit of the product around my eyes just to make sure that my eyelids don't get dry. So I'm going in with an anti-aging serum, which I'm just going to use around my eyes and rub that in just to prevent any puffiness, any premature wrinkles. Also, if you did not know, eye serum is great for your lips. The skin that's under your eye is also the same skin that is under your lips, so they're both very delicate areas. So you are able to use your eye creams on your lips, which is something that I do all the time. So now I'm going in with my vitamin C serum. This one is by DN Skincare. It's a two sisters and they have a vegan skincare line. And I love this serum very, very much. So I use it uh, just once a day during the daytime and I'm taking my jade roller just to go through and just give me a little bit more oomph. You know, this is why I said it's like the express facial. So I'm taking a lot of facial techniques that I use at night and incorporating them right here. So now I'm going in with what I'm going to use as a moisturizer. Usually I'd still use a cream, but I didn't have any more. So I'm using an oil by Rose Galore. It's just a mixture of different oils and i'm adding a little bit of lemon essential oil to help with the brightness and the dullness of my skin as well as any dark marks that i may have if you're going to use essential oils like lemon lavender or tea tree oil you have to mix it with the carrier oil because if you place it on your skin alone you could really cause more harm than good so that's why i mix the two together because lemon's way too strong just to place on your skin by itself so now I'm going back in with my jade roller. Um, also, if you want to kind of like uh, perk up the perks of your jade roller, put it in the fridge, put it in the freezer and use it while it's cold. It'll definitely help with the puffiness. It will have you glowing. It's like the extra step to all of your skincare. So now I'm just putting on some chapstick and that is really pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I cannot wait to come back with something else. Bye. Thank you.